So, I know that you said Maleficent was a favorite character of yours since childhood. I wonder if you can tell me what it was like for you to bring her to life, and if it was sad for you to say goodbye to her when it was all over. Um, it was a little terrifying for me to bring her to life because I was such a fan of hers, and I was, I, I um, it was daunting. It was, it's her. So, you know, I was so excited, and so excited to get offered the job, but then the idea of, of uh, that voice and that presence, you know, she's so, She's so commanding, and she, and she was just done so well in the original that uh, I, I didn't want to change her. I wanted to try to enhance her, and, but I didn't want to disappoint the original fans, and I'm one of them. And then, uh, and then I got my horns on for the first time, and I got my staff, and I got my knight, and it was like um, living out some childhood fantasy to, so, to become somebody you've always been curious about. So it had to be sad then when it was over. It was very sad. I still have a pair of horns at home. I haven't completely let her go. Um, what do you think, what aspect of Maleficent's personality appeals most to you and what it's appeals least? Well, least is easy because I think, because she curses a baby, so that's probably the least appealing thing about any person. Um, uh, the, the most appealing side to her, well, I suppose it's both. It's that she, she, um, what, what we will now discover about her is that she was actually somebody who was quite um, fierce and loyal and, um, and a fighter for what she believed in when she was young. And that I love about her. She has her strong sense of justice. What is the worst thing about her, of course, is that when she uh, gets wounded, she loses that and does the absolute most unjust, horrible thing to curse an innocent person. So she kind of, it's the extremes that she, um, that she lives through and, and expresses through the film that I think will make children question many, many things, and I think that's what's good about it. I agree. What do you think makes her relatable to today's audiences, since she's 55 years old in movies? Ah, I mean, Wicked's always relatable. She's, uh, she's troubled, you know? And I think we all relate to troubled. I certainly do. She's, um, she's, she's, she's been wounded. I think especially, I think adults and children will relate to some, we've all been hurt in our lives. We've all, somebody's betrayed us and it has brought us, it has put, makes us put our wall up and it makes us furious and it changes who we are. And we've all had that experience on all different levels, but everybody can relate to that. And then it's the choices we make and then what we have to live with when we make those choices. And we've all had to do, do that as well, which is, mm -hmm. you know, to live with bad choices. I agree. Gosh. Okay. Her look, did you have a vision for it or was it kind of, um, working as you were working on the film, as you got to the set, or was it all in stone? We worked on it a long time with uh, the, the people that created it, Tony and Rick Baker and Arian, and we all, um, we kind of sat around, we tried many things. I mean, I'm sure that at some point the pictures will get out of the things we did not choose to do. Um, but in the end, we wanted, we knew that as much as she's a, she's a character, uh, we didn't want her to be somebody that when you were staring at her during a real dramatic scene that you were distracted by her makeup. So it had to be extreme and yet uh, kind of her soul had to come out. I had to be able to perform through it and so it had to be... Uh, so in the end we decided it would be a strange extension of my own face um, and heightening, heightened reality based on myself as a, you know, based on her and based on myself so I wasn't covering up everything and uh, if does that make sense that I just I wasn't shellacked in so much that you couldn't actually see a person behind it. So there's one time for one more question for the generic and I'll go to Elle Fanning because you have a lot of great scenes with her. What do you think she brought to the role of Aurora that oh. worked so well for the two of you? I'd like when if now Elle and I are very similar I think as, as, as women I, I'd like to think I'm, I'm like her a bit she's a lovely person when I was her age, I might have been very, very different from her. And I think what's interesting is that um, there, there's a darkness to Maleficent. There was a darkness to me at that age. And Elle is so full of light. She's so full of love. And so there's a lot of humor to be had and charm in the combination of these two. Because for as, as frightening as I can be, her kindness and sweetness and openness is frightening to me. And Maleficent, because it's so pure and sweet uh, that it's unnerving. So um, she's a brilliant actress, and she's uh, she's so deeply good in this movie as a, as a real serious performance. She's great in this film. 
but she also brings this this magic to her uh, portrayal because she is kind of sparkly. She has something magic about her. Yeah.